On February 10, 2023, a Monroe County Sheriff's deputy was requested by a humane officer to assist with an animal welfare check in Tomo, Wisconsin. The officer explained that he may have to seize possession of a dog and wanted the deputy to provide help if anyone became aggressive. The deputy was familiar with the residence and its potential inhabitants. While en route, the deputy was also notified of a stolen vehicle complaint earlier in the day and was provided the plates and description of it. As he entered the property, he noticed the stolen car parked in the driveway with a female standing outside it. He quickly notified dispatch of it and conducted the situation as a high-risk contact. As he gave commands, he noticed another female exit the rear passenger side and immediately recognized her as 19-year-old Savannah. Hands out of your pockets! Now! Sidestep to your right so you don't trip. Hands up! Hands up! Now! Savannah, put your fucking hands up! Turn around! Turn around! Face away from me! Driver, get out! Despite the deputy's orders, the male driver, later identified as 27-year-old Austin Lynn, kept shaking his head and refusing to get out of the vehicle. Driver, get out of the car! Get out! Get out of the vehicle, now! Because I told you to, you're being detained, get out! Get out of the car, now! Do what I say, it'll all work out. Now get out! Savannah, put your hands up and face away, now! The deputy happened to recognize Austin, based on previous booking photos, and knew he had an active warrant for his arrest. I will talk to you about it in a minute. Right now, I just need you to follow my instructions, okay? Moments later, he did exit and was told to remain still until additional units arrived. I will explain it to you once we get some other people here. Right now, we're going to stay just like this. We're going to stay just like this until some other people get here. Being that the humane officer was a retired patrol sergeant from the sheriff's office, he suggested handcuffing the unknown female to help stabilize the situation. She was later identified as 39-year-old Shauna Grimsey. We will talk about it once some other people get here. Ma'am, with the cigarette, back up towards me now. Back up, all the way to me. Just keep backing up slowly, slowly. Okay, perfect. You're doing exactly what I need you to do right now. Stop. Sidestep to your left. Austin persisted in asking what was going on and yelling that he knew his rights. We'll talk about it. No, it won't tell us. We'll talk about it in a few minutes, okay? When placing Shauna in the squad car, Austin went back into the driver's seat. Or just have a seat on the ground next to the car. I'm fine with that. Austin, get out of the car now! Get out of the vehicle! Savannah! Savannah! The other female continued talking to Austin and appeared as if she was trying to convince him to exit the car. They're already been always six heading this way. Savannah! Savannah! Face away from me. Start backing up towards me. Back up, hands up. Am I in trouble? Face away. Eventually, the vehicle's tires started to spin and Austin began to flee. Austin, stop! Austin, that's Vehicle's taking off. Austin, stop! Occupant will be an Austin. Am I in trouble? What an idiot. Turn around. Am I in trouble? Turn around. You're detained right now. I don't know. Who's that in the vehicle? Austin Lynn? I think so. I don't know what that's supposed to be. I don't know if that's name. Okay. Let's go over here by the fence. But what happened? Does it have to use ammo? What's going on? Don't stand up here. Do you have any weapons on you? No. No weapons or anything? Anything's gonna stick no, me, poke they're, me, hurt me? They're changing the dog! They're trying to take the fucking dog! Why don't you come around this side? Is there anybody else in that vehicle? Just Austin. Just Austin? What's Austin's last name? I'm not for sure, exactly. I just know him as Austin. That's all I know, like. What's your name? Shauna. Shauna. Let's see. I'll get you in the car here in a second. <laughs> 
No, right now you're just detained. You guys, you guys are not under arrest right now. You're just detained. So I pass it down for weapons. Are you okay if I just search you completely and make sure you don't have anything on you? I'll, I'll get it. Paperwork, that's all I got. It's a battery pack, I'll leave that plugged in. Danger. Okay, so you have part of a syringe there. Yeah, I don't Where's the rest of it? I don't know. I really don't want... Don't go yeah, digging okay. around. Savannah, stay oh, over here. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. I got to get at the bottoms here. I can lift up my arms a little bit. Just, with I'm what we're dealing with right now, everybody involved gets handcuffed, okay? Again, you're not under arrest. You're not being charged with anything. You're not going to jail right now or anything like that. Just, you're just detained until I get everything figured out. Yeah, I understand that. There's an officer on his way out here right now that is going to help us get everything figured out. Go have a seat. It's a little warmer in there. Everything on you is no, supposed to poke me, hurt me. I have me. two rapes in my hand, like a bra in my phone. Did she get the pants on? It's, I mean, I'm not going to jail. I'm just sitting in the car. The property owner soon came outside and appeared confused about everything happening. That's Shauna Green. Who is it? I got Shauna and Savannah in there. Who is Shauna? How the hell did they get here? Do you know when they turned up here? I got no idea. I was in bed. Did you wake up to us being here or? Yeah. Okay. Momentarily, the humane officer pointed out Austin walking back down the driveway with his hands up. Austin's back at the residence. Okay, Austin, I need you to turn around. While providing him with commands, the deputy noticed assisting squad cars at the end of the driveway. Unit coming down the driveway, we're going to have a crossfire. I'll move to the side. I'm out of handcuffs. Move up. Okay, get down on your knees for me. Huh? Get down on your knees for me. You're going to be detained. 30 to the unit sitting at the end of the Grover driveway. Move up. Austin will be on his knees in the driveway. I am out of handcuffs. Okay. Just stay just like that. Is he in the vehicle? Oh, no. They're saying that he's on his knees at the end of the driveway. 17 to 30. Can you copy? Well, I told you, I mean, you just do what I say. Everything would have been fine. I can't do something when I have a gun pointed at me. So I panicked. My mom shot herself in the head in front of me when I was a kid with a gun. I'm petrified of that. Can I smoke a cigarette, please? Keller, why don't we use your car's cover? Yeah. And let's roll up. It sounds like... 10 for. I need them to move up the driveway to Austin's location. He's on his knees, being compliant in the driveway, but I am out of handcuffs to detain him. 30 advice, he has the male subject being compliant on his knees. He needs you to move up the driveway with handcuffs. 10 4 we have to move oh, past the suspect vehicle first. We're going to clear that and then we'll proceed to him. Still Responding units be advised, the driveway is blocked at the end by squad car. Let's, uh, you want to roll with your car up? Sure. And we'll just clear it, that way we have some time to cover here. Okay. You work with us, we work with you, okay? But there's going to be some officers here that want to talk to you. Ready, Kel? Careful with your footing. Yeah. It's Austin Lynn, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Honestly, I don't know what the warrant... I know you have a warrant. I don't know what it's for. There's one warrant, I believe. Unless you have one through probation or something like that. So then I, I believe you just have the Monroe County warrant. For missing court, right? I believe so. I do not see anybody inside the vehicle. As Austin was trying to escape, it seemed that he sped away too fast and got himself stuck in a ditch. That was when he decided to go back and confront his fate. Pause here, Keller. We'll approach and clear. Yep, moving. Looks clear. Clear front. Clear back. Clear. Seven, two, zero. Vehicle's clear. Break 30. We're going to approach you on foot, so watch your crossfire if you're holding that gunpoint. We'll approach on this side. He's on the house side. So what's going to happen is they're going to pull up here once they're done with the car. They're walking down here with officers with guns drawn. Get up front, guys. If you want to hold lethal on him, I'll have him turn away from us. And I'll go hands on. I got cuffs. I got a handgun. All right, here's what I'm going to have you do. On your knees, slide and face the white vehicle behind you. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Put your hands back on top of your head and interlace your fingers. Don't move. Do you understand me? Keep this hand on top of your head, put this hand behind your back. Bring it down. Mm -hmm. I'm not being rough. Mm -hmm. Put your hand up. You have anything on you? I don't even remember. 
Not that I know of. You got clothes on underneath this partner or what? Uh, sweatpants and a hoodie and a t-shirt, yeah. Let's walk over, let's walk over here and stop real quick. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's suspect as well. I haven't questioned any of them yet. I haven't even told them this is about a stolen vehicle yet. Okay. But I'm sure they've been chit-chatting because they've been, they're both in the back of my car together. I got stuff recording, so if they do chit chat about stuff. You're gonna hang tight with Deputy High in here, real quick, okay? You wanna have a seat on the ball box over here? Yeah. What? For one fucking warrant? Right, one warrant? That's what I'm understanding? I don't know, man. I just drove all the way from Cataract for you, so. For what? What the fuck's in Cataract? Sir, what's your last name? Lynn, L Y N N. Where the fuck is Cataract? What's your first name? Austin, A U S T I N. Where the fuck's Cataract? Martha Sparta. What the fuck happened in Cataract? What's going on down here? What, down where? Here. In this, right on this property? Yeah. I don't know. I, I honestly really don't know. I came okay. here to pick, pick someone up, take him for you know, a ride to go get some gel pens, and then we're about to leave, and then next thing you know, bam. Do you want to hop out, Shauna? You're just detained right now. You're not being charged with anything right now, okay? I didn't, I didn't know you were so, I just got but, it. We'll talk to you in a minute, though. We'll get it figured out. Shauna, um, because you are in cuffs and you are in custody, I'm going to read you your rights, okay? I want you to understand. Why am I in custody? I'll explain that in a moment, okay? But first, let me get this squared away. Read your rights. You have the right to remain silent. I can hear this on the radio. For him to say, stolen vehicles here and you on the radio. We got three at gunpoint, uncooperative. <laughs> I was like, of course. I just had that, had that spidey sense right when I left the office. <laughs> I came down the driveway and I'm like, shit, that's a black yeah. car. And the car made it all over around the first corner here and then he crashed into the, oh. snow, into the snow bank. Oh, he crashed it? Like, he just drove off the road yeah. and just stopped. There's no There's damage. No damage. Okay. I took photos of it all the way around, so. Yeah, okay. After speaking with all three individuals, Boston told the deputy that 40-year-old Amber Tapa was in the camper and had an active warrant. They went to the camper and were able to make verbal contact with her. She soon came outside voluntarily. Do you know what your bond is, Amber? Oh, Do you know what your bond is? Uh, 500 bucks. But yeah, I was trying to figure something out. I don't know, my dad fucking got not a lot of money on his credit card. So I was trying to turn myself gone. in. Yeah, I know, I was trying it's to turn myself in on Monday. Is what I was gonna do, but you were here. I'm like, I'll talk to you. Any possibility of that being able to be posted today? Fuck no. I don't okay. think so. He doesn't have a credit card today. He doesn't have any money right now. And he was gonna get it for my brother one day. But I had to talk to him anyway, so when he came to the window, I'm like, I gotta talk to him. I don't know. All of a sudden, I hear, oh, come out with your hands up or whatever, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? That Austin guy steals cars now and like flips them. So I don't know if that was a stolen car that he had. I've never seen him in that car before, so. But that's what Sean and him do. I hear everything going on outside, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm messaging, and then when you come to the window, I'm like, hmm? it's Moss, so I'll talk to him. But yeah, I have a lot to talk to you about anyways, and I haven't seen you. You haven't seen us? Sandra. No, him. Well, yeah, here. but I, I was, Dude. I know, you were here. I was here. All of a sudden, he was something about, you know, in the driveway, and I'm like, what's going on? And then uh, I got a message saying it was something about a stolen car. Did you go to AMS yesterday? No, and I didn't go yesterday. If I miss tomorrow, I'm out. That's why I didn't want to come outside. But I heard you at the window, and I'm like, fuck. I got to talk to him. A stolen vehicle out of I didn't know it was, I didn't know it was stolen. You know, you guys just roll up. I had a few of you guys were going to fucking show up. But I thought it was going to be for her at first. No, we came out here because of the whole dog thing. That's it. Your and dog, I just, your dog, every time you give The only reason I even. Thought, you give her a bath, she still looks like that. The only reason I even came with was because I knew Amber had a warrant. Yeah, she needs to fucking uh, throw some balls in, go turn herself in. Well, she's on her way now. Later on, the sheriff's office recovered drug related items during the vehicle search. One loaded syringe was located under Austin's seat, which tested positive for amphetamines. Two more were found in the back seat, but no one was willing to take responsibility, so it couldn't be connected to anyone. Austin was charged with felony counts of vehicle fleeing, eluding an officer, possession of methamphetamine, repeater, taking vehicle without consent, party to a crime. 
misdemeanor counts of resisting, obstructing an officer, repeater, possession of drug paraphernalia, repeater, and theft of property, party to a crime. His cash bond was set at $750. Shauna was charged with felony counts of bail jumping, taking vehicle without consent, party to a crime, and misdemeanor theft of property, party to a crime. Shauna was released on a $1,000 signature bond. Amber was placed under arrest and transported to the jail for her failure to appear warrant. Amber's cash bond was set at $500. Ultimately, the last female, Savannah, was determined not to be involved and was later released. Head over to CodeBlueCam.com and check out our great selection of quality-made merch that won't disappoint.